Five, four, three, two, one. What we got? Like, comment, subscribe. Hey, peeps, I just happened to be in the area, so I'm going to go check out this safe mart in Riverbank, California. It's actually right across the street from that Costco up into a few times where it got the uh, best assortment selection of bourbons, wines, or spirits in this entire area, best I've ever seen at Costco. So here we go, let's go check it out. So peeps, I just met the liquor manager here at St. Mart Head in Riverbank. They are stepping it up around here. I guess they're gonna be uh, carrying pappies and it looks like they're gonna be getting a double eagle very rare. Wow, look out for that. They're gonna have a grand reopening and they have actually stepped it up in here. I'll uh, turn this camera off of me and let you see what they got. They got these glass cases in here and it's looking pretty good. I mean, I don't necessarily uh, like all stuff from my palate, but, and I wouldn't say it's bad, but they have stepped up in here and uh, I'm gonna have to turn this around and see what we got here. Let you guys know to come check out uh, Save Mart and Riverbank if you're looking for some of this stuff here. So, you know, every time gotta say it, I'm like, not a fan, but, it is, it's there. There's the prices on them. Wow, that's a big price on that. Ooh uh, we got some High West right there. Strand hands, Uncle Nina. Got the Angels here. Jefferson's. Penelope, you're stepping it up here with the Penelope's. You got that Pharaoh Strength and Architect here. You got your, your range of uh, rabbit holes. But, uh, they're carrying a Baker 7. I mean, Garrison's a small batch. I'm, it's not my thing either, Garrison's. But uh, it's Russell's Reserve, single barrel. And then you got, look at this, this row of wild turkey products they got here. You got the rare breed rye. And look at this Kentucky Spirit right here. Weeded bourbon is decent. I actually prefer the weeded whiskey, but that's decent too. And uh, you get your crowns down here. Get your crowns. 10 cup, 14. The 14er. 14 are right there, people. Pikesville, decent as well. I'm gonna stay in here and go up real quick. There's something hiding right there. It looks like an orphan barrel. Oh, well, I.W. Harper. I.W. Harper back there. You can see it right there. Your Heaven's Door, it's a bullet. Larceny Woodford, regular Big Daddy's there. Look at this here, we got a Calumet. 15 year, people. That is probably my favorite one right there, the Calumet 15. There you go, 133.99. Tuck you guys see the prices on those. You can see the bottles westward. I don't see a lot of places carrying the uh, the westward. So if you're into that, yeah, single malt stuff, come grab it. They got it here. Save Martin Riverbank. Or Soldier, Blackened. You go up a little bit here. These have been kind of missing. What is that? Uh, oh, Toasted Barrel. It's a 59 99 for Lodge Craig Toasted Barrel. Back there, it's not there, but when they have it, it's 59 99 Old Forster 19, 10, 1920, those are staples, man. And you know, I give Jack Daniels a bunch of bunch of crap, but uh, I do like that a lot right there. That single barrel, barrel proof. That's some good stuff right there. Widow Jane, I mean, that, there you go. It's, everyone's taste buds are, are different. Everyone's palate's different. Got the Nika. We got the distance from Punch's Chance right there. 150. Got the Dickel and some more. Jefferson's got the tropics there for uh, 114.99. If you can't see that, ooh, 300 bucks on that sucker right there. Got your whistle pig, 10 year. Like I said before, whistle pig for me anyway starts getting good at about 12 years, 15. But then just I just get priced out when you get up higher there. You got that old pepper rye. That is a good rye, and I don't see this everywhere either. And that's a decent price. And remember, this is a liter bottle, people. Uh, Jack Daniels, uh, Sinatra Select. The Mucky Muck right there for 300 bones. Not into that too much, that single grain scotch, but people are, they like it. Let me jump down here real quick. We got a few more. The Masterson Rye, Masterson's Rye, sorry about that. Now Mylon Green, good stuff here. This good stuff, the Triple Cask is really good, had that. Got some bards down. Origin Series Rye, there we go. And got Wyoming uh, at 100 proof, Wyoming whiskey. What else we got like that? I can't see that. 
What's that? Hill Rock. Oh, it's Hill Rock. Hill Rock right there. Right there. That is it, people, but... They have stepped it up a notch here. Like I said, they're going to have a grand reopening. Sorry about that. Got a little construction going on for the grand reopening. But uh, I believe it's on Thursday. What's today? The 10th, so I guess that would be the 12th. So if you're around here, you might want to stop in for the grand reopening. Let me go through over these real quick. Let me go over these real quick to see what else I got. They got some tequilas there too. There you go, some Place Azul. You guys got it. You can see that. Sorry about that background noise. They obviously don't know I'm recording here. I'm sure they shut that down really quick, right? Haha. Uh -huh. Yeah, oh, that's the 1942. It's got some, you know, the red other Don Julio's in here. <laughs> yeah, that's about it, people. That's it. So that's it, the River Big Save Mart. If you're in the area on Thursday, the 12th of September, come check it out, people. So I am out. like comment subscribe okay people it's gonna be a this is a quick turnaround in costco videos uh, i just did the riverbank costco and you guys know that has a great selection the best selection i've ever seen in costco but i'm doing this quick turnaround over here this is a modesto this is like 10 minutes away and i want to see this I want you to see the difference in selection just across the Basically, it's a cross town, so here we go. That's it, Modesto Costco. Okay, peeps, so <laughs> this is one of those Costco's that's laid out the opposite of <laughs> the Costco's I normally go into, so <laughs> I'm trying to find my way through here. So here we go. I think it's up here on the left, if I remember correctly. But I'm, oh, I see some crown, that's gotta be it. It is, I got a, we got a whole case of the uh, gold bar. This is like Fort Knox. Too bad it's not worth it, it, because this is terrible stuff, people. I'm just saying it. Way better packaging than what the contents are. Not good. Here's all that crown I saw here. Get up here anyway, you're into the gold bar for whatever reason. I mean, it, cool, sorry, Joe. Got a cool little patch there too, I guess. So that's about to, uh, $50 too much for that. I got it over here in that case. What? What? Whoa. Okay. Uh, all right, people, stay with me here. We got the Gold Bar Whiskey, Joe Montana edition, $46.99. All right, stick with me here. I'm gonna go right over here. No break, no stopping, no editing. I'm going right over here. To the Gold Bar Whiskey 16 year Montana, California, Montana, California, Joe Montana, $484.99. So, whoa, am I missing something here? $750. $750. <laughs> uh, uh, well, if I was going to buy it, I'm, I'm going to buy this one. <laughs> I'll tell you. Right, that one says 16 year though. Is there something different? Or it's just a 16. Well, it's gotta be 16 year. Well, I gotta be missing something here. I mean, neither of it's worth it. But the patch, the patch, none of it seems to be different. 82. It's other than this one says 16 year for the number 16 for Joe Montana. Don't know if that's this. It says 16 year, but I have a hard time believing that's 16 year. It can't get any better, right? It could get worse. Well, actually, you know what? It's pretty bad. 
It tastes like bug spray smells. All right, anyway, here's some Johnny Walker Blue Label. Let's get on some stuff that actually matters. Some High West. High Country. I don't know, it's a single malt. So if you're an American single malt, there you go. $69.99, people. Barrel, what we got here from Barrel? Cast strength, oh, number 35. Cast strength, six year. I like it. Oh, and McKenna, man, this is a great price for McKenna, man. It keeps popping up in all these Costco's, so. That's nice. Bottle and bond, 10 year, right there. So dang it, uh, Dave Vogel saying, man, I gotta buy this thing here. 39 bucks. $39.99 for the Four Roses Small Batch Select. Old Forester, $18.97. No price on it here, but uh, I believe that's in the 40s as well. Last time I had seen it at a Costco. Yeah, this is all just this normal stuff down here. Just the big handles they put down here. People, you see prices on those. I go over those a lot, so you can see that stuff. <clears throat> Jefferson's Reserve, $43.99. You know, I can tell already they've stepped it up at this Costco compared to the uh, the other Costco because they know they most people have not been buying stuff over here because that other Costco is so close to this one. Woodford Reserve Double O, people, $42.99. That's a good price for that. That's some good stuff. It'd be a great gift. Angel's Envy. It's in all these Costco's. $30. $4.99. It's a good price for it. Some good stuff. Get your rise, your bourbon and rye, bullet. And your regular Woodford. Yeah, I just kind of skip over that. But that's it. That's the price on that there. $29.99 for a single barrel select. It's a great price for that. Ooh, bonded rye. Just, just don't, just not, you know, I'm a jack. Daniel stuff, you know, the uh, cast drink dry is, is pretty good though, that bonded rice. Mm. You go know, with the bottle and bond though, $23.99, the $17.92 Barton. That's a great price, there's a liter bottle too. Handy and Schiller, but oh, it's an old fashioned. Pre-made old-fashioned. Never had it. If you have had it, let me know what you think about it. But uh, it's $29.99. I like that. Old-fashioned. Got the Buffalo Trace down here. Got a liter of Buffalo Trace for $26.99. That's a... <laughs> I gotta say, that's a great deal. Normally, you see that price or more on a $7.50. Traveler's... Yeah. It's like a... Like drinking a cinnamon stick. Uh, screwball sucker for that right there leader screwball for $24.99 got our Jameson and uh, Irish whiskey Kirkland Irish whiskey oh some green spot right here check it out green spot for $49.99 Aberfeldy <laughs> yeah, you got that for $33.99 people Lager Lumen for uh, 16 year single malt 79 and you know what there's a decent selection uh, of this stuff here people i didn't put the uh tequilas in my last video of riverbank but uh, they're they're right behind me in this one right here so it was on the other aisle in uh, the riverbank costco and i had just done it not too long ago but you guys can see see this stuff here I'm just kind of slowly scrolling through this you know uh, a lot of you guys know a lot more about these scotches than I do. So I'm just gonna scroll it. Just keep on scrolling, scrolling, scrolling. That is a big sucker. Dang, $36.99. Is that any good? Let me know if that's any good. But for 36 bucks for a 175, dang. Okay, let's see this, the biggie stuff. I'm really not too keen on that. It's way too clear for me. Appleton State, your reserve. Heck, huh. nice Jamaican rum for $32.99. Here we got our, our Captain Morgan's Kirkland stuff here, spice rums. We got around here. We got all our uh, liqueurs and stuff here. 
gins. Anything good here that I want to see? I think down here is that tequilas or some. I'm getting educated on tequilas, but uh, I know I want them to be clean. No uh, preservatives and additives and all that. So here we go. Uh, I really don't know which ones are which. I'd have to really, I'd have to take a big look at the, I'd have to take a decent look at the, the label. You know, I'm sure would say it, but here we go. We got this. I'll show you what they got anyway. It's a 175 of this guy right here. Nice throw. That's a kind of cool bottle. Is that cork in there? No. That's a decent bottle. 1997 uh, for $7.50. Hey, vodka's down there. Eh. Casamigos. Right there. Tequila and Yejo. Don Julio. There. And El Tesoro. Yo. I know there's some good stuff. Mrs. Badax just got some of that single barrel store pick from uh, Bourbon Wine Spirits in Roseville. Thanks, Eli. We have G4 here. G4, I know these are both, both clean right here. Right here. There we go. $39.99 for that. Just great goose and other vodkas down here. I'm not really interested in that. If you guys are, you let me know. And I'll see prices of all that stuff in the next video. I'll try to get some of that stuff in there. For $249. Hey, while well, I'm thinking about what you guys like, comment, subscribe, and uh, share this video. Oh, that's kind of nice. Don't know anything about it. But here we go. All right, here we go. I don't know anything about this one. It's a black bottle. It's kind of a cool bottle here. Don't know anything about that either. But right, here we go, some more tequila añejo, some 1800. Some more 1800 over there. Ooh, tequila mascota. <laughs> Mascot, I guess. Bulldogs, go Bulldogs. All right, go Bulldogs. Some more here. That's a big daddy right there. 175, a Herdura. Herdura Legend for 115. Don Julio, 1942. I actually like to sip on that sucker right there. 153.99. Here we go. Dornitos. And here we go. We got this stuff here. I mean, here, here we go. We got that, uh, some cognac. That's it for that. Round it out over here. We are Don Julio Blanco for $39.99. We're a uh, Reposado for $42. And we got our crowns there. All right, that's it, people. That's it. Still haven't figured this out. Is it? <laughs> is that actually 16 years and this is not? That, I guess, would make the difference, but I don't see anything different in the packaging. I don't see that says 16 year on this bottle. So it just says premium brand. We know it's garbage. Let me see over here. Okay, try one more time. Oh, it says, let me see here. That look a little harder here. It says 16 years, aged 16 years. Proof 90. Mm -hmm. This one say at least 16 years. It does not. That's got to be the difference. Oh, apparently. Well, it's 82 proof. This one's 90 proof. There we go. We got 16 year 90 proof garbage for 84.99. And we got uh, 82 proof. Probably two year garbage or four year garbage for 46.99, there we go, I figured it out. I guess saying garbage is pretty harsh, I'll just say a bug spray. 
you know, it's, everyone's got a different palette. You know, if you like bug spray, you know, black flag, raid, that, that kind of stuff, if that's your palette, then uh, there you go. Found you some bourbon, people. <laughs> All right, get some gold bar. <laughs> All right, I am out. And to be completely honest, I think this has gotten a lot better because that Riverbank Costco is really good. They stepped it up over here, but I still think the other one's better, at least for my preference. But right on, Modesto Costco, stepping it up a notch. So if any of that stuff there fits your palate, there you go, Modesto Costco, California. Out. Like, comment, subscribe.